I don't know much about the Asian or Oriental world, uh, but in the Occidental world, it's taken as sacrosanct that competition is fundamental to human nature, I think. And this goes back to, you know, the Adam Smith and free market and yada, yada, yada. I've never been convinced by any of the arguments that competition is necessarily fundamental to human nature. I understand well that we're animals. I understand well the issues of survival and uh, status and ego and power and social hierarchy and so on. I'm not sure that humans are not capable of evolving uh, to a next step and arguably in the very long arc of time that's what some of the discussions today are about. You know, do we have collective intelligence and can we act on it as opposed to staying in the muck and mire of you know, we're all red fanged and tooth and really talk a nice game, but if we have to eat you, we will. <laughs> um, so that's what got me into thinking about that, this, this struggle. That said, just like OD and other things, I think there's a, a long, slow uh, sociological, cultural, psychological evolution that we're all participating in. And when I say slow, I mean you know, generations, I don't mean yes. five or ten years. Um, so we have seen, what, over the last 20 or 30 years, you, you will know the term uh, co-opetition as well as I do, and there are many collaborative, arguably collaborative efforts between competitive companies and people for that matter. I think when you look to the sports world, I think top athletes... Uh, Compete, but they also they also collaborate. You know, they share information. Uh, uh, and the, what I think is different today than twenty or thirty years ago is that when you have competition, innovation, any improvements in design, in manufacturing, in the delivery of services is copied very, very rapidly, anywhere and everywhere. Yes, true. Uh, and so what that means for a company in terms of wrestling with the issues of, you know, how do we compete, do we collaborate, how do we collaborate, is that I think the first thing is that these two, uh, these, these two, Competing and reinforcing forces will make will 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 make the ecosystems very clear. Mm. What I mean by that is a company, what it needs to do is understand um, what what do we need to. In other words, are there any essential parts of what we do that we just cannot collaborate on? And that we cannot share on, but and my point is, all that does is all this does is it will make it clear, or it should make it clear for companies. Then we're we're also wondering about the at the individual or at the small group level, the the tension between competition and collaboration. What I'm left with in thinking about these things is that both individuals and both companies. Will will have to ask themselves on an ongoing and I think periodic basis, where are we competing? Where are we collaborating? Why are we competing? And why are we collaborating? And the other thing that this question brought up to me is um, is uh, two notions. One is. I think a key issue for today's workplace in terms of the pressures to move towards collaboration and to also identify uh, the differences between competition and collaboration is this notion of incentive. Yes. Uh, you know, should people be incented 
to collaborate versus should just this be the basis for work design. I am biased. I don't think collaboration should be incented. 